Athena. Yes. What is that? What? That thing in your arms. Oh, uh, it's a baby. Why? Why is it here? Well, you know how I'm busy with my thing, and there's his, and dad is. <sighs> oh, you shouldn't have said that. Tell me, why is it here in front of me right now? Like I say, we're all usually busy, and, uh, you know, uh, if anything, we thought, what? Why don't you take care of the child? <coughs> Excuse me? Yes, why not? Why not you? You're... You'd make a great mother! How much did it hurt you to say that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Is it another one of his bastards? No. Really? Because last time I took care of a child that you brought me, you, that you brought me, it turned out to be Heracles. Huh? Oh, right, and yeah. Yes. And he bit me. After I realized who it really was. And now, there's a galaxy named after the incident. <laughs> oh, that's right. Now they call it the Milky Way. <laughs> I promise, I swear to, well, you, that this is not one of Dad's bastards. <laughs> hmm. I shall test your little... <sighs> Give him to me. Hurry up. Really? I shall prove if your words are true or not. Ugh. I better not regret this. Upon holding Yuzuku, she is very much pissed. Especially considering the fact that she still thinks this is one of his bastards, I know it. She does run some procedures to test this theory in which yes it is not one of his her going back to Athena is, uh, okay so you weren't lying this time how did you come across this child eh, I found him in the woods really yes and one of those cars was just driving off Really? So, wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that this baby was abandoned? Oh my god, who could do such a thing? <coughs> what? Mm. Do you really think you have any right to criticize? Okay, I may... Trade my husband's affair partners harshly. No, 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 no. Not them. I mean, granted, you you can't get vengeance on Dad because of what happened last time. But I'm talking about you know who. Huh? I'm sorry, who are you talking about? Your son. I've never done anything that bad to Aries. Mm. The other one. Oh, you mean... Oh, you mean... Yeah. Oh, right. Hephaestus. I forgot, yeah, I... 
<laughs> I was not the best mother to him, now was I? As soon as you saw that he had deformities as well as not perfect, you threw him off the mountain. Possibly make it his deformities worse or, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really... I really did him wrong, didn't I? Whoa, he got me back! What? What? Yeah, that enchanted throne he gave me, remember? You compare a enchanted throne that bound you until he, you know, he released you over being abandoned and ridiculed by your own parent. Mother, no doubt. Um, well, think of this is your way of making up for it. How is this going to make Festus even remotely Forgive me. Oh no, he just he's gonna hate you for the rest of his life. If anything, he's just working for us thanks to, you know, Dionysus and Zeus. Ugh. Man, I was seeing Festus drunk. <laughs> that was hilarious. <sighs> Well, he, he was rewarded, you know, for all his hard work and everything. Yeah, he got, yeah, he got married to Aphrodite. Yes, yes, yeah, he he, he sure did. The slut of gods, of the gods of sluts. Yeah, I I remember. Yeah. He was dealt a pretty bad hand, wasn't he? Wow, I... Wow! <sighs> I... I really haven't considered how much turmoil my son went through. No, you did not. You really did not. I mean, it's bad enough that he, you know, wasn't born perfect like us, or at least our perception of perfect, but the fact that you literally just tried to kill him as soon as you saw him, that... All oh, his self-esteem must have been shattered. Uh, okay, you're trying to make me feel bad? No. And though we aren't really close, he didn't deserve that. Especially considering all he does for us. I know. <sighs> Man, I can't believe this. <sighs> now, onto a matter about this. Hmm. Human child. Oh. I don't know when I could, how me uh, nursing him will affect him. What do you mean? I mean, it made Hercules. I know what it did to him. But remember, he was half God. So, ah. Oh. So yeah, there's no telling what that could do to a um, full on mortal. Oh yeah, you, you actually have a good point. 
Huh, only one day to find out. Excuse me? Do it. Why? Oh, come on, Hera. You. Just. It'll make you feel better if I left the room. Maybe. Goddess Hera. Also, goddess of the being modest, I guess. Whatever. Just make sure you don't try to kill this one. He's not a god. Yes, yes, see, Zuko pretty much being nursed by Hera. Though it doesn't give him the same buffs as it did Hercules, it did make him considerably stronger than your typical mortal. This is a. Eh, hmm. yeah, Hercules could live at least, what, 100 tons? Let's give Izuku 25. 25 tons. But luckily, being there's by Hera. Her being more vulnerable with Izuku. Or at least being a lot more careful, considering she could easily kill him by accident. Especially if she gets jolted scared. And she's raising him. The thing is, raising him? It's difficult, raising a baby. Because when it comes to the Olympians, if they, they grow up fast. Crazy fast. I mean, I think not herself when she he exited Zeus's uh, skull. Yeah, she was already clad in armor. Don't ask me how that works, but still, you can only imagine Izuku growing up alongside the other deities. Only thing is, with Hera seeing this as a way to raise a child, instead of just casting it aside like Hephaestus, she's trying to be at least a decent mother. Teach him right from wrong, teach him how uh, important Marriage is, as well as consent, you know, the, the usual lessons. Ones that Zeus definitely did not know about, or was never taught for some reason. Only thing is, Hephaestus, his brother, he's pissed. Because here he is building things for the gods, building things for a mortal just to make him comfortable. Seeing that Izuku's getting all this love and attention from his mother who abandoned him, tried to kill him, literally she was hoping he didn't survive, getting all this love. Well, all he got is pretty much loathing. Him remembering how he was treated, but seeing that this mortal, who isn't even a god, treated so much better so far. Hate to say, one tends to get jealous. As Izuku, yes, he doesn't really know what happened. So when he sees Hephaestus pretty much give him the cold shoulder, he's seeing his little brother, Hephaestus' big brother, so if anything, he admires Hephaestus for 
all the things that he's created, all that he's done. He especially enjoys the toys that Hephaestus made him, but doesn't understand why Hephaestus is so cold. Especially considering where his forge is. So, what does a young four-year-old Izuku do? But enter the forge, which is blazing hot as Hephaestus is busy making little trinkets and baubles for the gods. Izuku, being so young, though he does know somewhat about pain, fire is not something he's had a real experience with. So when uh, Festus is not looking, Izuku touches the hot steel. Screaming, crying, much to Hephaestus' horror. Pretty much pointing, oh my god, they're going to kill me if I... It looks like I hurt the kid on purpose. Him trying to make it so Izuku's not crying, trying to keep his mouth shut, making sure his cries can't be heard anymore. And he does one of the few one of the few things that have been you know, to work when it comes to dealing with toddlers and crying. Either pick them up and bounce them up and down or give them a toy. Yeah, Hephaestus. He tries both options. And so he's like, okay, uh, I'm sorry for not watching you. Izuku, enjoying finally being held by his older brother, hugs him. Hephaestus is not used to this kind of affection. Hell, he's married to a Redite, of all people. <laughs> Seriously, thank God, thank the gods that uh, they don't get STDs or who? <sighs> what are you doing? Hugging you. Why? Because I want to. Why are you hugging me? Because I love you, big brother. This strikes Hephaestus right in the heart. Because when it comes to hearing the word I love you, let alone from family, he is. He doesn't hear that. Much, if at all. And though, yes, he does know Zuku isn't his biological brother. Just hearing someone say that, as well as calling him Big Brother, acknowledging him as family. Yeah, it's more than enough to make a versus feel like, oh my god, I've been taking out my jealousy out on a child who doesn't understand a thing about what I've been through or what she has done. Remembering his, uh, seeing his mom for the first time. Yeah. Then seeing her again. <laughs> just tragedy. Just tragic. So, Izuku, of course, he has questions. Mainly about yeah, foraging. Yeah, as well as blacksmithing and whatnot. Though he can learn from uh, Artemis. She still doesn't like... Uh, she still doesn't care to be around dudes very often. Hell, like, because her brother, she sure as hell doesn't want to really, really be bothered with them too much. But when it comes to learning more, all his usual studies will be handled by Athena. But he really does want to pick up on something, a craft or so, 
Something that makes him feel special. And why not ask your big brother? Or he's someone you truly admire. Because even though the other gods are particularly incredible, that's just. <laughs> With the things he crafts that they use, let alone the weapons and armor that they gift heroes, yet you could say somewhat take credit for giving to the heroes. He's a goo, of course. If I just seems like the best bet. As they go on talking for hours until it's time for Isuku to go to sleep, as he starts to slowly drift to dreamland, Hephaestus makes him a new bed. The only thing is this bed is somewhat sentient. It rocks him back and forth to the point where it makes it so much more calming. It heats up or cools down depending on what will help him sleep faster. If anything, this bed is revolutionary. Made specifically for Izuku just so he's comfortable and has a good night's sleep. Much to the point where if since it's in the forge, it's not affected by the intense heat. When Hera comes to the forge to find Izuku and sees him sleeping, she wonders where he get that bed from. Just hearing Hephaestus and yeah, I made it. I didn't order you to make that. You didn't have to. Oh, did, did, uh, Izuku? No. Then, why I just want my baby brother to be comfortable? Uh. Oh. Huh. You just wanted, yes. Well, that was nice of you. Well, um, if anything, I'll take him back to his room. Uh, does this one uh, move any? Or do I... Uh, I made it kind of last minute, so... It went because I'm moving on its own. I, it's not programmed to go to his room. Oh. Uh, so, I just pick him up and you can. Her trying to, but Izuku just clings to the bed. Her getting a bit frustrated, but Vestas is... Just wait for him to wake back up. Then we can take his new bed to his room. Right. Of course. So, um, let me know when he's awake. Okay? Sure. Uh, thank you. What? Nothing. <coughs> uh, keep up the good work. Izuku, upon waking up, he does see that Festus is still working, but also, like, maybe you should just take a break a little bit. A little bit, uh, a little while. Why? Well, don't you really get, uh, time to relax? Well, uh, yes, actually. Really? What do you do? As he continues to forge. Blades. 
armor. Hell, automatons. He's just pretty much like, do, 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 do. okay, this is my form of relaxing. This is my vacation. I feel most relaxed when I'm doing what I do. Zuko kind of being a little like, anything else you like to do? Uh, huh. I actually am not sure. Hmm. You think you uh, have any ideas of what, like, what do you like to do? As they go on Izuku's favorite little uh, excursions, pretty much swimming, as well as yeah, watching Hercules <laughs> pretty much be a hero. Professor sees this as mm, boring. Izuku is pretty much like. <sighs> Will I ever be as strong as him? Whoa, wait, what? I'm just saying everyone is so amazing here. Why do I feel like I don't belong here? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, what do you mean? He's a good Uh, it's probably nothing, but I feel like Mom is hiding something from me. What? <laughs> like, like what? Mommy thinks, what if I'm not supposed to be here? I mean, I'm not as strong as Hercules, I'm not as swift as Hermes, I... <sighs> I don't really have any godly abilities, let alone traits. Uh, am I broken? Uh, uh, what? Like... There's something wrong with me. Am I broken? What? What? I. Isuku, you you are not. You're just different. But why am I different? What's wrong with me? Uh. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with you. Then why... Why am I surrounded by such incredible, special people, but I'm just... not? You don't feel special? No. I just... Uh, Something, I don't know how to describe it, but I feel like I really belong somewhere else and I don't know why, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but <sighs> Kid, how long have you been feeling like this? Two years ago? Since you were two years old? Well, yes. He's so good. You should. You are special. Not everyone's the same, and which that is a good thing. It's good to be different. You may not be like everyone else, but you are. Special. You just need to find what you're good at. Uh, like you and crafting? Yes, exactly. 
though you may not have found it yet, doesn't mean you're not special at something. That it'll just take some time, you know. Okay. Thank you, big brother. You give me a lot to think about. And anytime. <laughs> yeah. Hera. Well, this you have some explaining to do, woman. Excuse me? Why are you allowing that boy to think he could be like one of us? Whatever do you mean? He thinks you're his biological mother, doesn't he? You still never told him. Uh, I, uh, I knew it. Why? Why would you? Tell him by now. He's old enough to know the truth, isn't he? No. What? What do you mean, no? So, you don't think he should know why he's here? He's here to be my child. Oh. Got my old mother here, don't we? I don't want to hear that from you. So, what? You just want to play mommy knowing that he was... I'm not playing mommy. I'm actually his... I am I'm as much of a real mother as his biological one is. <laughs> yeah. Except you're lying to him. I, you are putting it in his head that he can be a god like us. He can. Really? How? I think Hercules became a god. Zeus was... You really think... Zeus, of all people, will allow someone who's being raised by you, trained in tactics by Athena, need I go on? Do you think he would grant Izuku godhood? Why would he risk that? <sighs> Rather have Izuku grow old than die. But at least you can lessen the pain by not lying to him anymore. Tell him the truth that he is not a god like us, that he is mortal. It will hurt, but he is still a child. He is resilient. He'll get over it. <laughs> so you think it's that easy? What? So you want me? To tell him the truth. That his mother abandoned him in all the woods, left him to die. Well, at the very least, you do have uh, experience abandoning children. Now, don't you? Watch your tone. You only, you only 
lash out at me because you know I'm right. You can hit me and hurt me as much as you want, woman. Doesn't change the fact that I am telling the truth. You have some nerve claiming to be anyone's mother. I said to watch your tone. And I said tell him the truth. Unless you want me to do it. He won't believe you. Perhaps. But all I need to do is sow the seed of doubt. Have him not believing you anymore. He trusts you with all his heart. What do you think would happen if I sow any doubt within his mind? You are not to tell him anything. Am I clear? How are you going to stop me? <laughs> I'll get Zeus to, to do what? <sighs> to sleep with Aphrodite? I'm surprised he hasn't already, given his track record. <laughs> Lashing out in anger. You and Zeus are more alike than you want to admit. Get out of my sight. Gladly. The best is leaving and Hera pretty much like... I am not losing him. I am not going with the same mistake again. I... What should I do? If I tell him the, the truth, he'll see me as. An... Hey, um. Little brother. Hmm? What is it? Um. You ever heard a story? about me um mean the fact that mom lost you <laughs> so that's how she combs over her misdeeds what <sighs> all right she didn't lose me. She tried to kill me. I, what? Yes. But she... Oh, believe me. She says a lot of things. You shouldn't trust everyone so... blindly, little brother. But if I have to trust somebody, do you? Because if you can't trust anybody, who can you really depend on when you need them? That's a good question. But one thing's for certain, 
You can trust somebody. Trust yourself. Trust your judgment. Don't blindly follow others. Don't just accept what they say as fact. Look into it. Get evidence or confirmation. The truth comes out sooner or later. Whether they want it to or not. Believe me. I know. <laughs> you remember the story about the Golden Throne? <laughs> yeah, I heard Mom was very upset after you. Oh, you have no idea. Hmm. Well, what about the enchanted bed? Remember that one, right? Yeah, that was weird. Hmm? Was it? I mean, why would... Uh, you know, Big Brother Aries be with your wife in bed together? Uh, <laughs> let's just say she was very naughty. Oh, she was unfaithful. Yes. Very. I'm sorry. For what? You didn't cause it. It was her fault. As well as my brother. Ugh. See what I mean by blind trust? Take this as a lesson, Izuku. Though, you want to see the good in everyone. You can't deny that there's evil everywhere. And the ones who you should truly fear are the ones who can hide it until they feel as though they're safe. <laughs> Believe me, I've experienced so much. <sighs> There's just too much to really. I understand. Do you? You're just trying to give me a life lesson, right? Yes. A very valuable one at that. Blindly trusting and following others will only lead you to ruin. At the very least, I want you to be able to grow up and die an old man. But, but wait, I, so I won't live forever like you? And the others? Hmm. You're different, Izuku. I know that, but I don't want to be different. Won't be just like you guys. No. No, you don't. The fact that you're different is what makes you special, makes you. I want you to be better than us. You can only do so much at the moment. So focus on your training your lessons they will aid you 
your travels. Right. But do I have to? You, you know. Because this whole dying thing, that's only for mortals, right? And I'm... <sighs> Think about it. Do you feel like a mortal? I... Not, not in particularly, but I... It's okay. Trust me. You... You're special. You're different, yes, but still special. <sighs> if you don't mind, I should get back to work. Can I come? Very well. Just... Be careful of the heat this time. Ah. It was one time. Yes, and it seems as though you've learned your lesson. <laughs> it's pretty much that's how it goes. Izuku spend more time with Hephaestus, learning not only how to build things, but also how to break them. While well, Hera, she's pretty much contemplating on what Hephaestus said, in which she is going back and forth in her mind, pretty much like, should I tell him, should I not tell him, how long can I keep this a secret? <sighs> Until she remembers, like, that's right, if I can convince Zeus to grant him divinity, How can I possibly do that? I mean, he can pretty much do whatever the hell he... If <sighs> only my plan worked that day. If it wasn't for that blasted beast. I would have... He... <sighs> you called me. <sighs> ah, my beautiful wife. So, how goes raising the moral pup? <sniffs> He's fine. Right. So... How much longer is he going to have to stay before he leaves? Why would he leave? You know the rules? Mount Olympus is for gods! Not puny mortals. <sighs> if anything, I'm surprised that he survived this long. Did you give him a blessing or something? No. Really? Because I sure as hell didn't. Mm. Everyone should know not to give out blessings all willy nilly. <laughs> but that doesn't stop Aries now, does it? <sighs> so what? Do you want? Oh, I just need an update on your uh, pet. What pet? Izuku. That's the boy's name, isn't it? Yes. Why do you care? Hmm. Be completely honest. I don't think I really do. However, I do find it quite interesting that you decided to take on this boy. Yeah, yeah. So, 
you do remember there are consequences to hmm, defying me yes and you already suffered such consequences haven't you that's correct <laughs> good just need to make sure you remember I mean for as long as we've been married you've always had that fire in your eyes you've always been a wee bit ambitious not gonna lie I admire that about you <laughs> which made it so much more important that I had you <sighs> oh don't don't <laughs> give me that face <sighs> it scares me You have no idea how much I care about you. Oh, I know. Aren't we just the perfect couple? You get to do whatever you want within reason. I get to do whatever I want. <sighs> Thank you for just being so understanding of how things work around here. I mean, you adopted a mortal brat, treating him with so much more love than your real son. <laughs> Put down your hand, Hera. If you strike me, I'll be forced to retaliate in self-defense. <laughs> uh, that's better. But I really do wonder what makes this one mortal so special to you. Out of the countless beings, you chose to raise that. Granted, he's no pushover, at least mortal standards. But you know he's no match for the gods, right? <sighs> right. And you must definitely know he is no match for m me. You know that. Yes. Good. Just need to make sure we were on the same page. Now that I had that confirmation, I'll be leaving for a uh, business. And yeah, that's how that exchange happened. Pretty much Hera being pissed. And poor, poor. Poor statues being demolished. But, eh, what are you going to do? He's a goop. He's picked up on his training very simply when it comes to fighting, thinking up plans and contingency plans and backup plans for his contingency plans. To boy, where are they? I think it was pretty much just like, wow, how cautious are you? Can I be too careful? You plan A through Z. Just in case. In case of what? The other plans don't work. <laughs> you have to have some kind of, you know, guarantee. I mean, I want a good war. <sighs> There's no such thing. Hmm? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, 
there's only war. There is no good war. Winners, losers, it's pretty much it. Uh, but it's good to be on the winning side, right? I suppose, yes. But yeah, also consider what was lost. The countless soldiers sacrificed over uh, God's no how many reasons. Competitions held for, for a promise that wasn't Can I ask you something? What is it, Izuku? Does... Um... Mom? Keep secrets? Yes. Wait, wait really? Oh, yes. Everyone has their secrets. Izuku, you had to realize that. Oh. Yeah, but don't worry. I'm pretty sure she's not really keeping much in the name of secrets away from you. But every time I ask her, when am I going to gain my divine power, she always dismisses me. I just don't know what to do. I don't know who to really listen to. I just want answers. I want to know what's wrong with me. Why was I born wrong? Don't. Don't say that. What? You were not born wrong, you were born. That is it. There are no guarantees to where you may have ended up, if not here. Why you why does everyone do that? What? You act like you're hiding something but is it seeing a statue of Hera? This one mom's secrets, isn't it? Yes. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Mm -mm. No. No. Yeah. Don't. Don't worry. This fight is has nothing to do with you. Hmm. Okay. So what now? Don't worry. Just focus on your studies, your training. Be a powerful hero. One that can save anybody once you put your mind to it. You really think I could be a hero? There's no doubt in my mind. I have faith in you, but you are going to need to have some faith in yourself. Right. Uh, I'm going to go see Uncle Hades, see if he can grant me any assistance. Sure. No. What? No. 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 Why, why, why are you here? I just want to talk. Lies. I, I promise you I'm not lying. Oh, my boy, you are lying. 
You can't trick me. I know you are lying. But how the hell do you know? Well, for one, I have eyes and ears almost everywhere. <sighs> but if anything, I do understand your dilemma. You don't like being different or anything. You want some divine powers for yourself. Well, there is a way to do that. Really? Uh, uh, how I would do... Are you sure? Yes. Well, there are ways to gain divine power. One of the quickest ways is to ask Zeus. Okay, what about the not so quick way? Hmm. We can't talk here. We'll uh, have to relocate to a more secure location. What's more secure than your own domain? Oh yes, you'll be surprised. I am not the only one who has their little... Mm, little helpers gathering information.